All right, here we are on page 80. We're going to talk about white dwarfs in binary systems. We're going to talk about a nova versus a type 1a supernova. There are roughly a dozen or more different types of novas uh, out there, uh, but we're going to focus on just three of them. The garden variety nova, the type 1a supernova, and the type 2 supernova. That will keep us plenty busy. Uh, what you see here is something that isn't illustrated very well in your textbook, so I've drawn it myself, and I will send this to you, uh, a better illustration of this, in the email. This is what's referred to as a Roche lobe. Okay, what is a Roche lobe? Well, it's when you have uh, a pair of stars in a binary system orbiting one another. Um, so here, in this case, uh, obviously this is not to scale, but it will serve. Here we have a white dwarf and a red giant here. They're a binary system, they're orbiting one another. The Roche lobe uh, is indicated by these yellow lines. Those indicate the, the uh, gravitational boundaries for escape velocity. And in this case, uh, we have a normal star here, uh, reaches the limit uh, of the Roche lobe here, and this is what we would call a semi-detached binary. Okay, remember that, you'll see it again. This is a semi-detached binary, and it's called a semi-detached binary because uh, this red giant has expanded to a point where its outer surfaces have gone beyond that gravitational limit, and now the material from that red giant is getting sucked on to the surface of the white dwarf over here. It's kind of a parasitic arrangement. So we have a we have a normal star in a pair that reaches the limits of the Roche lobe. It dumps material on the dwarf. Three. The gravitational pressure of the added mass is, if you think about it, it's going to increase the temp on the hydrogen layer. at 10 times 10 to the 6 kelvins. In other words, 10 million kelvins. What do you think is going to happen? Hydrogen fusion blows off the whole layer. Now, just to put you in the picture, we're talking about an object roughly the size of the Earth. That's what a white dwarf is. And we've seen <coughs> videos or, 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 um, or movies of uh, atomic explosions, atomic bombs. But imagine the entire atmosphere of the Earth. Every cubic meter of the atmosphere of the Earth blowing up in a nuclear explosion. That's what's happening here. The entire atmosphere blows up. One gigantic nuclear fusion explosion. And that is a nova. Now, the dwarf remains intact and unharmed. Doesn't hurt it a bit.
and if the giant has enough material, the process repeats. Imagine if I had, if this was made of steel, we'll say, and I poured gasoline on it and touched it off. I could do that all day. I could even put gunpowder on it and touch that gunpowder on uh, off, and it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt uh, the steel ball at all. That's what's going on here. Uh, and yeah, this is your garden variety basic Nova. And yes, they can and oftentimes do repeat the process. That's just your basic Nova. We'll go on to another type of Nova in the next page.